Once upon a time, there lived a debonair youth who belonged to a band of thieves masquerading as a theater troupe. Legend holds that he and his fellows set to out to kidnap a royal princess, an act that led him to embark upon a quest to ensure the very survival of the star. Wee! <laughs> I have my very own Zidane! Thank you, Lich! Actually, you know what? Let's let's start the Final Fantasy 16. Where does it start? Thanks and hell, thanks Navi. What am I gonna be? Do I wanna be? Do I wanna be a bard? What do I wanna be? I guess I'll be a bard. What do what do I wanna what do I wanna? I'll be approaching Clive Rosfield. Who do I want? I wanna be a dragoon. I don't know. What should I be? I'm gonna I'm gonna bard. Does this this be my OG job? Look at look at everyone in Clive's outfit. We got the Ro Ross Phil Ross Ross what my, bruh. <laughs> Rossfield fit. Who that? It's Link. Hey Link. A land on fire. Oh my God! You can see his face. Look at look at his face. His face is right there. <laughs> Look at Clive! Roar! The neophyte adventurer seeks the warrior of light. For forgive me, my boldness, but you are Zordia Doom, are you not? Are you Zordia Doom? No. Yes. <laughs> the then my search is at an end. A begoggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with... Some matter he deigned not share with me. Pray, remain here and I shall fetch him at once. Eee! I'm excited! Wait! Clive in my Final Fantasy fourteen. Greetings, champion. Who's this? Oh! Tis I employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I've a request that you... And you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering as I drank deep of its beauty. I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of purest white, the other blushing scarlet, and their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star, their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. I know, Yoshi B graces us with his presence. What does it mean? A lovely tale, but I fail to see what that has to do with me. But what does it mean, Yoshi P? Truth be told, mine own interpretation wavers. My rational mind says meaningless dream, whilst my artist soul insists on prophecy. Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I'm convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. The question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? The Bowl of Embers, where I battled Ifrit. The Burning Wall in Eastern Thanalan. A place rich in co corrupted crystal deposits. They can look quite fiery. I'm just gonna go with Ifrit. Whatever. <laughs> While its relation to flame cannot be denied, mine instincts tell me nay. The scene for my dream was more rigid than, ba than bowl. A giant flickering outcrop of crystal, mayhap? Of course. Oh, okay, so I was wrong. Um, what if I answer it all incorrectly? I'll say Burning Wall. The Burning Wall in Eastern Thanalan? 
Ah, that cluster of immense crystals born of the seventh umbral calamity. Aye, it well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. Oh, so the answer was, damn it. The first mystery is solved. I did not, I was trying to get all the answers wrong. Wall is correct, damn it, McDowell. I didn't read your... <laughs> we shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous burning wall at once. To Thanalan I go. Oh my gosh, look at the mirror! It's Phoenix and the Farid. It's It's my statue. <laughs> the Burning Wall, an apt name indeed. Tis said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. You mean... Like the phoenix? <laughs> but that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spy glasses at the ready. Oh, we 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 spy glassing. Okay. <gasps> I see Tataru on Torgal, and I'm already jealous. I just started it, and I'm already liking it. I'm really excited for no reason. Well, all the reason. Why the music so scary? Okay, no, or creepy. Why music? Why music sound like this? Uh Why is it raining? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Not gonna lie. Um <laughs> Why did it start raining, yo? Because weather happens or why weather? I can't see anything! Yo, wait, oh, what am I supposed to be seeing? Weather, why you do this to me, <laughs> Zor, when weather exists? What, what am I, hold on, no, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me anything. Oh, 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 strange man! <laughs> I barely saw! <laughs> Clive, I'm sorry, I didn't see you! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm so sorry, Clive. I'm playing this. Yo, the music! <gasps> Let's hide, hide away! <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Clive looks good with. What the frick? <sighs> Gotta embody Ben Star. Dude, Clive looked good. Where am I? What? What's going on? Is this the future of Final Fantasy XIV models? Is this the future? Sorry. <laughs> I'm really excited about the music, bro! A dream led you to me. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for who we are, I'm content to be known as the Minstrel. This stalwart hero is Zordia Doom. I don't know why I paused there. And this is perfect because we're both bards. I specifically chose bard because I want to be the better bard. Honestly, Northreach's bard is better than the Hideaway's bard. Don't at me. But I want to be the best bard because I'm trying to. I'm trying to get into you know the Hideaway. Oh, you're right. Hold on. Wait. Why are there two? I like how Theo was the only one who pointed this out. <laughs> this has been happening all stream and no one mentioned anything. You thought you were just drunk? Damn. It's okay. It's all right, Arctic. No worries. Because you watch in 160p and can't see. <laughs> Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive, I... The last thing I remember was the ruins. Which ruins? Of the fallen? The fallen ruins? Which fallen ruins, Clive? He looks so good, look at his eyes! My head, where, how did I come to be in this place? 
Twould seem you were not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a frontistry physician look, look you over. I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? No, the hide hideaway music is gonna go away. Oh man, Clive, Clive not looking too good. He like hobbling like, bruh. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was not that a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. He looks great. I want his outfit. <laughs> Music! Ah! If his model is any indication, like you could see the difference between the detail on Clive's outfit compared to the minstrel's outfit. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The physiker also noted no signs of injury or illness. He looks much younger, though. Yet, my memory remains hazy. How did I end up there? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Uldar strike you as familiar? Nope, not at all. No. Maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm, not olden then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldar and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelveswood is in order? Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells. But I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? Yes. We are taking you everywhere, Clive. Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania Anon. This entire situation has me knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Zordia, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. I'm actually surprised they didn't use like a Final Fantasy 16 bit for that. Because they did that for 15, if I remember correctly. Pain to recall. Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania the minstrels mentioned, is it far? Well, we need mounts. We're gonna fly. By airship? You have those. Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. I like how level-headed Clive is. Considering he comes from a place where none of this exists. Zordia, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? A foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. First time traveling by airship? Is there no airship travel where you're from? <laughs> not like I know. Not like I know your entire life story, Clive, or anything. Totally not a stalker. <laughs> so it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Oh, he has, like, pure amnesia? Foggy as my memory may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion. Disbelief for something that you clearly think of as a commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. He's taking everything by in stride. Jeez, Clive looking good. To feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. So this is Gridania. Seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it's best if we follow your lead. 
Clive is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. Where's best place to G-pose with Clive? <laughs> this city certainly has a different feel to Uldar. Not only the architecture, but the people as well. You know what, let us let me switch. As much as I love the Zidane minion right now, I'm gonna I'm change that back, but first, Scarlet? <gasps> Scarlet Peacock! Thanks, Frizz. Thanks, on hell. Yay, okay, perfect. Perfect. I want Clive in my sights everywhere, thank you. <laughs> We just strolling around with Clive. Strolling. We just strolling. Strolling. This tavern, it reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else? A chocobo. Don't they pronounce it differently? Chocobo. Now that's something I recognize. Yet it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once. I'm sure of it. But as for, as for when or the where, an impressive crystal, not a mother crystal, surely? No, not nearly large enough. Ugh. When I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. The music! Rosaria! This is truly a beautiful place. You've taken a liking to Gridania then? Have you remembered anything? If only there was said here. Brief flashes of this and that, but nothing to suggest I've been here before. I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful, and that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander! All is quiet with the Ixel! No sightings of Garuda! Oh, he's gonna be like, Garuda? For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Yeah, Clive got isekai Did he say Garuda? Oh, oh no, not your Garuda. Not Benedicta, I'm sorry. You there, this Garuda you speak of. Ugh. Sir, are you all right? Lieutenant Doom, do you know this gentleman? Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Now it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm thinking of the timeline, all right. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course! Gridania owes a debt of gratitude to any who, who've stood against the de that destructive fiend. If this is before Garuda, then he only has Phoenix. I don't know if he fought Garuda yet. He gets it from Benedicta before he actually fights the Icon. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our Elder Seed Seer is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She's surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Still Glade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. If he is remembering Garuda, then he has met them already, no? Um, it depends. He said that he was in the middle of a fight with Garuda. So that means presently. This this Clive has just was either just fighting Garuda or was in the middle of fighting Garuda before he got transported. So he might have Garuda's abilities. Um, and none of the other ones, but more likely than not, he just has Phoenix. Which fight though? Either way. Um, he gets, he gets her powers after fighting the person she fight after fighting Benedicta. He already has Garuda's powers fighting Garuda. So if he's talking about Garuda and not Benedicta, then I think he would have had Garuda's powers, but I don't know. Maybe he just not name dropping. Pray find me at Nafaka's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted entry t to the Lotus Stand. The way back to what I've lost begins with Grid with Garuda. Of that I feel certain. Greetings, honored guests. 
The music! Commander Huloy. Hulo. Huloy? I don't know how to pronounce this name. Has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. A pleasure to meet you. I am Kani Senna, Elder Seedseer of Gridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive. He doesn't remember his last name? Not even Rossfield, bruh. Though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please, concern yourself not with pro proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes. In the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle r rose unbidden. I think, perhaps, if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixal. A people who once dwelled here in the Twelves Wood. She appeared as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Zordia has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. Yeah. A winged woman of vo volatile temperament, with a power over wind, a fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No. The will behind the monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's primal are not one and the same. <laughs> Were you allowed access, Yoshi P? <laughs> Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for moms around. Improbable to say the least. Oh, he has the tattoo. Okay, so this is before the time skip. And so it is younger Clive. That led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts. I've heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. My brand, it's, it's the mark of a bearer. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, bearer, Ifrit. Another primal's name. Twould seem the pain has a, a Twould seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. A barrier as of my own making. Then, how then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Yes. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. So, you think me from another world? And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. Oh, so this is post... This, this post Garuda, okay. Post Garuda right before, okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright. 
But he don't got that power right now because his memory is all like hazy and stuff. Interesting. Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree. And I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps. It's especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Zordia. You're the twin to Clive's wandering star. I am Clive's twin. Your involvement is no accident. The path I seek is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Apkalu Falls. I thought he was gonna say gird your loins. I swear, Clive deserves a nice rest. I was kind of hoping that Clive would get like a hot spring scene, you know what I mean? Not for nefarious reasons, but like he needs a break, okay? A path infernal. Clive seems somewhat bemused. Yeah, sure, Zor. Hey, hey, you guys might have nefarious reasons. And I'm sure everyone would enjoy that, okay? The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet him at Apkalu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Good, not far then. Let's get on with it. This place, why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louiswa gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit? <sighs> I know something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? Clive recalled several words in the Elder Seedseer's presence, words which brought him pain. While the significance of bearer eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. It's a tattoo. Is this from that cutscene? Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, tis likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louisois paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance, and within the vision which takes form, will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real, yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Okay, so I, I'm getting what this is. This is basically the scene in, um, where Clive fights himself, where he accepts himself. Instead of that whole sequence and that really cool cutscene fight and stuff with Joshua and whatnot, he gets transported to Eorzea instead of, um, instead of going into his mind. Take heart, Scarlet Star. And upon the strength of your shining twin, your past awaits. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. This is it! This is the moment! Come to me, Ifrit! Where has he sent us? You stand in the Bowl of Embers, the site where the Amalja summoned their patron deity and the stage upon which the Warrior of Light became the Slayer of Gods. Tis but convincing, tis but convincing illusion, the body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno! Here we go. 
Life's not, this is not my Ifrit. An, an accurate facsimile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No, not quite the same. Oh, 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 we getting the, the, the right Ifrit? Yo! Dope. Dope. Dope! Oh, he's even bigger than the... He's even even bigger than the 14 of her... Jeez, he looks so good. The model looks amazing. Dude! I'm playing six, I'm 16 right now. <sighs> I swear we're gonna get a cinematic. It's time to uncover the truth. <laughs> no way! All right, time to find out who I am. Time for self-acceptance. <laughs> if reach that's the thing which killed Joshua yes I've been on its trail seeking vengeance for my brother okay, okay. this fiend must pay fight with me Zordia Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. During this battle, you will gain access to a special duty action as follows, okay? Use rising flames to charge the foe and inflict... Excuse me? With proper timing, you can dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you're within the area of an enemy's attack. What? Certain enemy attacks will proceed by countdown icon. When this countdown pro progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use the dodge action. Oh, this is cool. After executing a successful dodge, the dodge action will change to precision strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. Ooh, okay. The music is so cool. With me, Zordia! Oh shoot! I should have dodged! I should have dodged! <laughs> Wait! Oh, Wait! Hold on! <laughs> oh, what? This is cool! Excuse me! Bleed! Whoa! <laughs> Wait! I'm... Okay, I can use rising flames, my bad. Dude, this is cool. Yo. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so 
That's so cool! The cinematic invasion is so freaking cool, excuse me! Oh, damn it. <laughs> that was on me! Hotter. What is he up to? Damn, he's fast. Ugh! Clive, Clive, are you okay? Sh shit, I can't move. Wait, wait. Can I do something? Can I do something? Can I? Can I help you? Zordia, buy me some time! What, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, 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 what the fudge? <laughs> oh my god, wait! Wait, wait! Oh, jeez! This won't hold me! My thanks. That hit me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think where it's at on my controller though is kind of bad for my carpal tunnel. <laughs> You can see Clive's abilities. That's so dope. fight Oh of course these blades they're feeding him power Too many, damn! We cannot rely on steel alone! <coughs> <coughs> J 
Jeez. <coughs> Dying. On your guard! He needs to unleash hell! Oh, was I supposed to... Oh. Still with me, Zordia? Let's finish this! Music too good! Music! I love this game, man. Saw that coming. I blamed another to spare myself the guilt. Oh, this is spoilers. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not a freak. I am. Hey! I mean, but it was obvious, right? Even from, like, the demo, you knew. Although, like, they, they like to bait you. Cinematic? Cinematic? Do we get a cinematic? Hey, let's go! I did the thing! Yes, I did the thing! He did the thing! If reach, vanquished! In the battle against your own mind. Oh, it would seem, my bad. <laughs> Intriguing. I didn't read that. <laughs> Torgal! Torgal! Best boy! I love that Torgal goes to find Clyde no matter where. Aww. <laughs> Honestly though, Navi, it's not too big of a spoiler. It's it's a it's big, but like it's not like groundbreaking. The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There, there is no more loyal an ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Torgal! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it would explain the aberration in the lingering aether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your world.
Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Ah. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul, the inheritor of the Phoenix's flame. He was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. This is the spoiler? This, this is all stuff that's covered in the demo. This is like demo, demo stuff. So it's not, actually not too big of a spoiler, Navi. Demo is just the prologue of the game. Didn't play the demo either. Yeah, no, but, but it's very early on in the game. There's a lot of lost context in this as well. The reason he gets spirited away is during the scene when they, in Phoenix Gate, where everything freezes and he fights, like, the sequence that we encountered in here where we're fighting Ifrit, it's the fight against Ifrit at Phoenix Gate. So like, this actually fits in quite well. From that day onward, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was in instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can, Im I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape. But I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth. And then everything faded to black. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Serious. <laughs> Then your tale suggests that something in the that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Oh, and that's why he shows up there. Yes? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see you home, we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. <laughs> Torgal! Torgal! Oh, Torgal doesn't want to talk to me. Torgal's ears are pricked up. He, his senses focused on his surroundings. Such an incredible sight. I was in no state to appreciate these crystals the first time. We've come this far. Now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. This is still, like, baby Clive. This isn't, like, his final form. Ready, Torgal? Take me home. Ruff! Once you choose to depart, Clive and the wandering minstrel will accompany you. Torgal will then begin leading you onward. Oh! No, no, no. Okay, follow Torgal. Following Torgal. Oh, we got someone who... <laughs> We got Summoner Yuna. The Bun Girl Yuna. Oh, Torgal will wait for me. Hold on, let me talk to Clive real quick. Don't mind me, keep an eye on Torgal. A brave fellowship formed beneath the wings of the Phoenix. Tis worthy of a poem in itself. It's cool that we actually have a wandering minstrel quest line. <laughs> or hanging out with the wandering minstrel. Torgal! Show us the way. Best doggo. Oh, I'll be back soon, Jill. I sense the end to this extraordinary tale is at hand. The music! 
Is this it, boy? The tale ends where it began. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds, but now I think I understand. You do. Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. Twas as if the star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of direst need. Yeah, I thought so, because of the phoenix co connection. The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. Aww. Clive. Go back home and do your thing. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, friend, no matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. Oh! Because <laughs> the truth do be bitter, man. Always, no matter what fate awaits at journey's end. <laughs> this is going to make me cry! <laughs> Journey's end, he says. Oh. Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek, and Velastheo waits. Oh, uh, when your character knows the future. Oh my god. The curse of knowledge facts. Facts, though. I got chills. I got chills. And then he was gone. Uh, I feel the stirrings of a ballad. A ballad. It do be bittering, it truly is. But nay, twould be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. <sighs> I mean, you can try. They have their, bar their bards. You'd probably be a better bard than the bard. <laughs> that they have. That honor belongs to someone else. Someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. <gasps> the, the, the references. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. <laughs> you say this. I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Zordia. Oh, this is how this is how they put it in the the commercial. Bye, Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> Only on PS5 for 59.99. What? <laughs> Yoshi be being like, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Our little adventure is over, yet set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to some to a summoning whistle. Hey! <laughs> yes! Yes, gimme! Gimme! May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. If I don't end, oh, it's okay. Dan, 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 dan. Yay! Wait, 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 w
The beast who appeared to aid the stranded Clive was guiding was a guiding spirit born of its master's memory. So impressed was the ever insightful musician by the creature, he decided to re recreate a young version of it, which, despite its diminutive size, already possesses the indomitable spirit of the fine hound it will one day become. This one? This, this Torgol pup? OMG! You can pet him! Wait, wait, wait. You can love on him! Oh my god. OMG! <laughs> Torgal's the same size for everyone? Look at my character's facial animation while petting. Oh, I'm gonna disappear. Oh my gosh, so happy! We <laughs> oh, was so happy. <laughs> Best mount. Best freaking mount.